We have built multi-level advocacy for it from the clinicians that are using it and are responsible on a day-to-day -day basis to the administrative and executive decision makers and to look at solutions that make sense. And you mentioned 360 degree disinfection. I know that there's been some confusion in the marketplace as to what that means, because the benefit of a non-mercury bulb, such as a UVC LED solution, is that there isn't any heat. So when we talk about 360 degrees, we're not talking about temperature, right? We're talking about 360 degrees around the device. And that's important because a lot of devices might be disinfecting the top or disinfecting the bottom, but if pathogens can survive anywhere on the device, then they can spread. Do I have that right? Correct. Imagine, oh, and we were just setting it up this morning here in Portland. We have these crystal shelves that go into the device and we can either have two shelves or up to four shelves. Those allow the light to penetrate through the shelf from multiple angles. So there are no shadows. There's no shadowed light. It's all direct light, direct UVC light onto the device. So every nook and cranny from where the buttons are to where the, you know, the case might be or the ridges, all of that gets disinfected. That's what I mean by 360 degree. It's a 360 degree environment of disinfection. You really have a, a double-edged sword. You get the benefit of infection control, but you also have the benefit of protecting uh, these expensive uh, pieces of equipment and managing that inventory. Right. So if you looked at two high-level values of the Seal Shield solution, one is the disinfection that is, again, 360-degree environment that is not damaging the devices. And the other part of that is the tracking, the ability to hold our systems accountable in terms of, are we using them? Can we prove adherence to disinfection protocols? Are we really supporting the mission of enhancing care and driving down the cost of care? Well, of course, I support the benefits of the Seal Shield Electroclave. I appreciate you being an advocate for the Electroclave at the VA. Is that really your mission there today? What are you doing with the VA in regards to the electroclave there today? Well, today is the fruition of a lot of work that we've been doing all over the country. Thus far, we have presented the electroclave solution to over half of the divisions. So nine of the 18 divisions in the country have seen this solution. And we have built multi-level advocacy for it from the clinicians that are using it and are responsible on a day-to-day -day basis to the administrative and executive decision makers and to look at solutions that make sense. So we're working at that level as well, Brad. So we call that multi-level advocacy and it involves leadership at all levels and at all locations from a medical center level to a vision level to an enterprise level.